वेलकम टू धामा विद इन टेन मिनट्स द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप इज विपल लासर इन पाली विच इज विपर रियास इन संस्कृत विपल लासर मीन्स डिस्टॉर्शन ऑल्सो अ फॉर्म ऑफ हेलसिनेशन यू सी अ कंप्लीटली अ डिफरेंट इमेज और डिफरेंट thing than what really it is so let's take this body when i take this body as myself it's my body and hence there is a compactness feeling a compactness perception and that is ghana sanya sanya is perception ghana is compactness so when i have this should i treat this as nichya or anichya So even if I were to say this body is not as per my liking, or is impermanent, or in whichever way I would like to define it, it doesn't get into me, because I have a very strong nichya sanya. Nichya means ever available. So when I open up my eyes, I can see myself within this body. when i see it in the mirror i see it as myself being standing so if i am getting gray hairs on my mustache or the hairs or i am growing bald i feel my hairs are getting grayed but i am there the hairs are getting grayed or the hairs are falling like that so it again gives a nature and it so when i have that perception it makes me feel happy that i exist so i would love to exist and i can see my existing and that gives me myself i and it's always subha meaning auspicious so the four vipalasas are anicche nichya sanya dukhe sukha sanya अनते अत्तसन्य असुबे सुबसन्य ना हाउ डू आई ब्रेक दिस द प्रैक्टिस हियर इज टू फर्स्ट हैव अ सील डेवलप्ड देन आई टू गेट इन टू समाधि द फर्स्ट टास्क इज टू कट द सेंसेस फ्रॉम द सेंस डोर्स then only i can understand the dukkha in real sense because the feeling and perception happens in the senses so as long as my, the senses are going behind the sense object and having a feeling or a creation of ayatana which is sense feelings it becomes a theoretical experience for me to say that i need to see it as anicca dukkha anatta subha that is not as per one's liking or impermanence dukkha as in suffering anatta as non self or no personality asubha as in inauspicious so what i need to do as a practice is to do three things one seal second samadhi third one you get panya wisdom wisdom comes when seal and samadhi are working just going into the panya is not going to help that means if i just listen to discourses if i just read it's not going to help because the indriya sambara has not happened that is guarding of sense door has not happened then the hindrances are not removed there are five hindrances that is not removed only then i should be able to understand the dhatu the qualities when i understand the dhatu that it is his body is made out of dhatu the nibiddha happens disillusionment happens and that gives rise to viraga that is dispassion nirodha cessation upasamaya peace abhinaya seeing things in a different way 
Sambodaya for the Four Noble Truths and then the Nibbana is experience. So the Vipalasa Sutta gives us an information on what is distortion. A person, a normal worldling takes this at a Sotapanna level. The worldling is gone and instead replaced by Sotapanna, stream entry person, which means that he no longer holds on to the five aggregates. So the Sakha Edipti is gone. The Visikicha, which is skeptical doubt, is gone. Then the Sila Bitta Paramasa, which is nothing but adherence of rules and rituals and thinking that that alone will take you to liberation. And at the Sakadagami level, the person attachment possession reduces and because of that the Kama Chanda that is sensual expectations or abhijja, excess interest and vyapada, which is ill will or irritation is reduced. And at anagami level, the person doesn't have the abhijja, excessive interest in sensuality and vyapada which is stepping down. So there is no anger, there is no frustration, there is no agitation and all that. So when the person comes here at this stage, the Vipalasa is completely not there. So in Sotapanna level, little bit, in the Sakadagami level, it would be still more reduced. In the Anagami level, it's not even there, which helps him to walk into the path of Arhat. Hope this helps. Thank you so much for your listening and do subscribe to the channel for getting further updates on Dhamma. We record it all the time and also we have retreats. So if anybody is interested, can join our online retreats. Thank you for watching.